That's done the trick. Our engine course is back online. Great news, Rick. Our Romulan friends have returned. You have to admire their sense of timing. Now let's see if we can't give a little of what we've been taking. Enterprise on station. Initiating warp. Enterprise on station. We're dropping out of warp. Effects of the nebulous particle flux have dealt a good deal of damage to our systems. 
Let's hold position here until my engineering teams have effected repairs. I'd advise your engineers to do the same, just in case there are any more surprises waiting for us out here. Our systems now register green across the board. We're ready to continue the search. Rick, that distress signal you were responding to, did you happen to notice if it was Vulcan? Now that you mention it, it did have the same carrier wave amplitude the Vulcans use. That means the ship we were dispatched to locate may be the same one that sent the distress call. What was your last bearing on the signal? Before we lost contact in the nebula, it was directly behind that dead moon. I'm transmitting the coordinates to your helm. Acknowledged. That's our next stop. Objective achieved. Initiate warp now. We've left the nebula, Captain. This is the Vulcan science vessel, Soleil, to any friendly ships in the vicinity. We are under attack by Romulan aggressors and require assistance. Vulcan ship Salea. This is the Starfleet vessel Enterprise. We are here to render aid. Certainly a fortuitous bit of timing, Enterprise. We are transmitting our coordinates to you now. We can cover the distance faster if we transfer all power to the engines. Sensors. Enterprise to Romulan ships. Cease your attack or we will open fire. As usual, the Romulans don't respond. Doesn't seem like they want to talk, Jonathan. Suits me fine. A little more reciprocity for their earlier greeting would be grand.